Sao Paulo, Brazil, a city of 12 million people, of 8 million cars, and a handful of Kiwi girls playing puka. Hey, puka! 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 It's the day before tournament in Brazil. 22-year-old Sarah Goss is leading her captain's run, and for one of the players, there's some bad news. Uh, she's lost the odds game, so she's got to put her face in the mud. You've got 10 seconds. Oh. Don't breathe in. Close 10, in. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> hey, making the pass. Multicultural, pretty physical. We're known now as the, yeah, the sisters, pretty much. Pretty physical and pretty and physical. It's family. If you thought being girly and being good at rugby were mutually exclusive... So we're a beast on the field and pretty off the field. Check the sisters' pre-tournament tradition. So we want to do our nails to make ourselves look more girly. Because, <laughs> like, everyone thinks that we're all butch and stuff. <laughs> what do you mean? No one thinks that. OK. Why do you, <laughs> why do you why don't look butch? Yeah, we know, but it's like a stereotype, so... Yeah, it does make us a bit more femi femi yeah. feminine. <laughs> feminine. Feminine. How would you say this is going to help my butch image? Because, oh, like, you guys. So butch. You know? <laughs> so much. It actually feels really nice, eh? Thank you. What, how do I dry it? What do I. Number seven, Tyler and eight, more. The night before tournaments, whether in Russia, China or Brazil, the girls are each presented their jersey. It's seriously emotional. And they know come dawn, the sisters will be all business. This is a rare insight behind the scenes with the New Zealand rugby team. In the changing room it's quite cool because it's just us and with the flag and stuff it reminds us of being back home. A chance to see the pre-match rituals, the walls lined with history, the inspiration for a team in the black jersey. So that's my dad when he first made the All Blacks in 1984. And um, that's the photo that they had in the newspaper with my mum and dad. I like having my sisters um, beside me and on my arm. The mood here is one of nervous energy, of confidence. You've got to get into the zone, and different people have different personalities. I'm just the quietest one. I keep quiet in the corner. I just don't say anything to anyone. Don't get smart to the coaches. I heard you're the cheekiest in the locker room. The cheekiest? Me. Who said that? Tell me who said that. You're going to get a down chair and a belly flop. <laughs> And if you thought these girls could dance, you should see them play sevens. Reigning World Series champs, reigning World Cup champs. In Brazil, they grafted, they triumphed. Another series win <laughs> for the... <laughs> and what's extraordinary about this team? You're a shearer. Yeah, I, I used to be. I used to dabble in a bit of sharing. Is there a bunch of normal Kiwi women from all sorts of backgrounds? When you say dabble, how many sheep could you share in a day, on a good day? Uh, I have, well, let's just say I've done my 300. Shorty Winniata is a cop. Yeah, Shorty! <laughs> Macca's granddad was an all-black. Same with her big bro. What does Luke say about this? I reckon you could step him. No. Honestly, no, no, I'm not blowing smoke. I reckon you could step him these days. No You're way. You're step. And Ty is probably the world's only Māori Chinese semi-professional sevens player. I think DC just signed for a couple of middle in France. You guys must be on that sort of similar money. Oh, you? yeah, of course. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> but watch these faces. Learn these names. In 18 short months, these girls are favourites to be back on top of Rio. When you hear sisters, when you hear women sevens in New Zealand, um, man, watch out for us because we're going to go all the way. <laughs>